How's it going, guys? They keep pissing around with my audio. I've shot these videos countless times, and it's starting to piss me off. So, and you don't want to piss me off, because these are my baby rattles. Do you want to see the big guns? They're in here. I got them. So don't piss me off. Quit fucking with my audio. Okay, on to the video. Two, 1,000 watts. Just this coil, no auto former hooked up. Now this, there's a harmonic relationship. This wire is twice as long as this one. This is Tesla basic tuning 101. So now if I take what I did here with four different harmonics, okay? Uh, you know, eight foot, 16 foot, 32 foot, two foot, right? All right. Imagine the phenomenal results. Let me show you this. Just this blue coil. It's only a few turns of wire. The core is empty. And that's one kilowatt. There you go. Magic, right? Certainly brighter with this, with less consumption. Because this sets the resistance for this tank circuit electrically. And then we add the magnetic field to the secondary coil. That's how an auto former works. Except this is an auto former perfected in resonance. So, there's the draw. Pretty minimal. Let's turn it off. So you can have another look. 25.4, sitting there-ish. 23. It's probably pulling about four or five amps. Now those aren't full brightness, but they're damn close. And if I go and change this back to how it was, you will see spectacular results, just like before. I mean, it's real easy to adjust. There's two wires. Change two wires. Done. Now it's an auto former. And now they're really bright. And I could make them a thousand times brighter. I have all this space on the core yet. These wires don't even get warm. Nothing. Everything's cold. A little bit more of a draw. But the lights are a lot brighter. And this is only tapping half of the primary. Again, back to the other way. Pull this one off, pull the center tap off, hook it up to here, done. Okay. You can hear the frequency change, the bulbs are less bright. I put more turns on there, they're gonna be a lot more brighter. 2360 under load. Because I'm not taking anything off the tank, this is all done through electromagnetic induction from the magnetic field lines that are floating around the core material. These are special cores. Again, if you want something like this, this is a 100 watt. I have, there's a 1,000 watt. I have 2,500 watts. We can put 5,000 watts on this, on the primary. And we can have 50 kilowatts come out of this because this core is rated for 1.6 Tesla. That's 160,000 watts. 160 kilowatts can come out of this core material before it's saturated. These are the most expensive, the highest technology on the planet for core material as of whatever, two years ago when I bought them. So, you know, good and bright. Those aren't dull by any means. If you needed heat, well, there's a hell of a heater. Winter's coming. These will be $2,500 a machine because of the core material, my time and my technology. Have a great day.